if you stop thinking for a moment, what remains? A sense of alertness and cognizance and clarity remains. This is open intelligence or mind. We use these words in the training because they, they describe us accurately. Exalted creatures, that's what we are. And we have a mind, you know. I think so. <laughs> we have a mind that is open and free. So, and of course, whatever term works for you, that's what, what you can use. But in Balance View, we try to use a terminology that will be of most benefit in any given circumstance, in any given time, to the greatest number of people. So rather than pulling out of the... Um, um, closet, some old terms that are so loaded for m most people, Candy suddenly came up with open intelligence or the true nature of mind, something that we can really understand. So my life is really funny in many ways. <laughs> my thoughts and emotions are constantly changing. I guess yours are, are changing as well. And in the law of impermanence, we can really see it in our experience, how every datum, every thought, emotion, and sensation is self-releasing itself. You came here with one thought, and when you said there was another, and in between there were many, many other thoughts. And if you just notice for a moment, if you just stop thinking, you see that the data, the datum self-releases itself. And we don't need to do anything about it. It just happens by itself, like a line drawn in space, or a flight path of a bird in the sky. It doesn't leave any trace. When we get to know this about ourselves, we can really relax. And this is a short moment, a short moment of instinctive recognition that all is well, even in the midst of feeling flappy. <laughs> or feeling weird or bizarre or something like that. And if you, if you would know my, my little funny mind, which is also vast and, and open, m many things are going on all day. There are lots of thoughts, criticism, judgment, self-hatred, self-criticism and judgment, and I said it again, and self-hatred and, and, and all the nice stuff that people are usually very afraid of. And I was also very afraid. Oh, I hope I won't feel this right now. Oh, I really hope that they won't think about this. You know, constantly being totally afraid and victimized by my own choice. I chose to be a victim of my own data streams. But when we are giving the, true, the education, the proper education and introduction, we know that we have a choice in every moment to empower ourselves rather than continuing on with diminishment of oneself and disempowerment. And in the Balanced View training, we talk about short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous. Open intelligence is already continuous, so don't worry. What we do in short moments, we simply instinctively recognize its spontaneous presence in the current datum. So you have a thought right now like, oh, this is awesome, great, I love it. Take a short moment. And you might have a thought, oh my God, what the hell is he talking about? Short moment of simply relaxing body and mind. And more and more as we repeat these short moments, the open intelligence becomes continuous in our experience. So for me, the first place I tested it out was in very afflictive states, like depression. Do you know that one sometimes? Sadness and, and fear and anxiety. So when I met the training, all of these data streams really raged in me. And I was no longer, I, did, I didn't feel so moved to try to indulge them you know, thinking about them a bit more, or avoid them, or replace them. I really wanted to test a short moment. And that's what, where I started to see the fruit of open int intelligence, which was immediate benefit. Immediate benefit in the, in the beginning in the form of relief, of release, of not being so tensed about everything that goes in my mind. And that was good. That was a good beginning. And, and then more and more I saw that really the attention that, and focus that went on rearranging my display of data streams 
went to open intelligence. I could dedicate myself to open intelligence and benefit. And lots of the energy that was wasted on micromanagement, you know, you know when you micromanage yourself, you know it. Why? Because you are kind of not here. You are, you are somewhere. I, and when people speak, you might do like that, but you're, nah. <laughs> you're totally in the project of self-help, and I, I need to fix myself right now, so don't interfere. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and that was my attitude with everyone I met. But I didn't know, you know. So yeah, thanks for the four mainstays and education in the nature of mind, because now I know that I have a choice. So I can laugh about my past and say it was funny and exciting, and I learned many things. But really, the ability to live a complete life, a life of constant stability, of feeling flourishing and 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 excited to live came about with this education. So, and also in the balance year, we have the four mainstays, which is a, a comprehensive support structure for anyone who is interested. Because many heroes, like myself, tried to do it by themselves and failed. <laughs> I know it's hard to admit, but I'm admitting in front of 120 people. Failing, failing to do it by myself. Why? Because we need support. Like we learn to ride a bike, you know, bicycle, or we learn to brush our teeth or anything like that. We needed support in the beginning. So why not in something so essential like the nature of our mind? Why to do it by ourselves when we have a, co a community of so many people from all over the world who are standing up and saying, okay, now I understand. <laughs> It's really, really good to understand myself as a human being, and it's really good to understand others as well. And then we can start to cooperate and live together in a unified way. You know, not, not just because you talked about the paranoia of what can happen. And so I come from Israel. I was born in Australia, but I come from Israel. Yeah? <laughs> and, and in Israel, there's... Uh, there's lots of things going on, and they always, always there was something going on. So I remember in 91, looking at the sky in my village, and there was a, a missile flying around, and I, I hear the, the um, airplanes uh, bombing from this direction to that direction. You know, so for me, it was a constant reality check. So, so from the age of six, I said, oh my God, this is weird. This is totally weird, how people act to each other and the violence and the hatred, I want to find a solution. So when I found the solution in the form of the Four Mainstays, I felt really happy, because I knew that I found a solution to world peace. When I saw how people cooperated together in the community of Balanced View, I knew, okay, wow, this is how it works. This is really how it works. And of course, things are so bad right now from reification when people emphasize their data streams, their thoughts and emotions. I mean, open the news, it's horrible. Like every day, so many people are dying and not, not by the grace of I don't know who, <laughs> just because somebody decided that this is the moment, you know? So there's so much violence and hatred, but until we face it in ourselves, you know, then we are incapable of bringing true solutions. We can speak greatly about peace, you know, and with our fists and, and banners and, and hate mails and all of that, peace, 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 but unless we find it in ourselves, come on, be quiet and start to really take responsibility. I know it's nice, but we have to know what's going on within ourselves in order to build solidarity and find self-dignity and self-dignity we don't find by closing our eyes. We're finding when we hate someone and we take a short moment. Oh, cool. Don't have to act on that. I don't have to react like an idiot. <laughs> so you see the, the, immediate, the immediate benefit that comes about from short moments, it's, all, it's not just for yourself. It's a contribution for everyone around you. So for me, I, I know that when I started to take short moments, I, could, I really started to be of benefit to others. It wasn't only about me saying everything that runs in my head, because I thought that this is true honesty. True honesty is to really get, 
get down and, and, and understand data streams, understand the simple dynamics of data stream inseparable from open intelligence. There's no separation. Data streams and open intelligence, they rest, they are blended together like the color blue in the sky. Can't separate one from the other. No need to fight with ourselves, no need to fix ourselves. All this nonsense can be a funny joke of the past if you want. <laughs> And you can really rest deeply in the powers of great benefit. These powers that are available, available to us right now. You know, and so when speaking up, it can take many forms. It could be funny and lovely, but what will be of most benefit? So we are aligning ourselves with reality and with the four mainstays, we are encouraged to find this stability and resilience within ourselves to carry on. In a time of great change, you know, many things are changing in, in, in the world today, and, and that's good. We need a change. So the four mainstays really accommodate that. It's a lifestyle choice. It's not a, a program for selected people. It's a lifestyle choice that affects everyone, everywhere, all areas of life, not just the mind, if you think about it as the brain, also the body, the speech, the qualities and activities, everything about you aligns itself with reality. And this is what I found in the process of the 12 empowerments. It was amazing. I started to, you know, in the 12 empowerments, you have many questions and, and many answers and you hear everyone and then, wow, I am so similar to everyone else. I thought I'm so isolated and special. But that person from that country is exactly like, wow, wow, and that person. And I can really recognize myself in each other person. Again, unity and peace in a small group. But that's exactly how we are as human beings. And also finding the tools of how I can deal with all of that. Because, you know, once the 12 empowerment stop, it's not like you don't have any data streams anymore. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, the, the beautiful group of uh, people who are doing the empowerment. You might find, <laughs> we don't say it in the, in the poster, you might find that you're becoming even more bizarre. You, you might find that your data are going wilder. Can you say wilder? Wilder. And you're becoming more flappy than you used to be. <laughs> And that is a good sign. So please remember, once, once, once you start to allow things be as they are and things get wild, please remember that this is a great sign of accomplishment. I ask you from my heart, remember that when you get really wild and crazy and you think you're going to lose it, this is a sign of accomplishment, of you allowing things to be as they are. It's not a sign of failure. People are not flawed. No one is failing to be a human being. This is weird. You know, to, to assume that, the, that we have a thought means that we are flawed and, you know, this is weird, this is nonsense, this is spam knowledge that needs to get out of all systems forever. So once it gets wild, four mainstays. So good. You don't have to do it by yourself. <laughs>